Welcome to Just Picture It. I'm your host, Maylin Fung. We'll be looking at how people in California are getting involved with improving the health and resiliency in our local communities. Our guest is Jill Littlefield. She's Senior Associate at ICF International. Jill has a master's degree in organization development, and she is the coordinator for the Western region of the Medical Reserve Corps. Jill has 13 years experience in emergency preparedness and development. In today's show, we'll find out more about the work of the Medical Reserve Corps and talk about the units in California and what they're doing in our local communities. We'll also talk about how the California Health Initiative is forming up as a medical reserve unit here in the Silicon Valley. Welcome, Jill. Oh, thank you. Tell us about the Medical Reserve Corps. How did it get started? Well, the Medical Reserve Corps got started um, in 2001 after the attacks on September 11th. Um, what we found was that we thought that there was going to be a large-scale disaster with many wounded. And what happened was everybody descended on the locations to assist. But medical professionals are licensed within their own states. And so what was found was that we really needed to look at that from a federal perspective as to maybe we need to organize um, volunteers in times of disasters such as that. And so in the State of the Union address, you uh, put in for the Freedom Corps. And the Medical Reserve Corps was developed out of that. It was handed over to the Surgeon General's office, and we started with a pilot project of 15 units, and now we have 990 units across the nation. Wow, that's a lot. That's very fast growth in, the, in really quite a short time span. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are the objectives of the Medical Reserve Corps now? I mean, it, it was a response to 9-11, but now you're working with local communities. How yeah. does that work? Well, we allow... Um, out of the Surgeon General's office, we have the Division of Civilian Volunteers Medical Reserve Corps. And what we are is a clearinghouse for information and project sharing and initiatives that local communities can undertake. But we are not a top-down organization. We are a bottom-up. Communities get to decide what kind of Medical Reserve Corps they need based on the gaps of that city, county, or even at the statewide level. So many of our Medical Reserve Corps units do train and organize for disasters, but we also have a very large component of public health initiatives that the MRC unit volunteers can do throughout the year. So that sounds like an evolution of the role of the Medical Reserve Corps. At first, responding to emergencies and disasters, and now looking at public health and what we can do better. This, this is a great move. Yeah. Everybody's really concerned about health. Well, we've always been concerned about health because we've been in the Surgeon General's office. And so we've actually had that benefit of really working with the Surgeon General's priorities throughout all of the years of the Medical Reserve Corps. And so now, as the winds of change have happened and public health and initiatives are the more visible, we are right there at the cusp and ready to welcome more Medical Reserve Corps units to come in and do public health initiatives for their communities. So how do local communities participate in the Medical Reserve Corps and how do they benefit within the local community from setting up a unit? Well, here in California we have 31 units and we are supported at the state level by the Emergency Medical Service Authority. And so there's a state coordinator there also who helps to coordinate the Medical Reserve Corps within the state. And each community really identifies if they have a need for a Medical Reserve Corps cadre of volunteers. Because really when, you, when you're looking at volunteers, mm -hmm. they're donating their time. So it's not like a regular asset where you can just say that we have this many volunteers. It's really based on what that community needs and, and what kind of partnerships and resiliency you can build within the community to have volunteers work for the community. So can you tell us about perhaps a city or a municipality that has actually formed a Medical Reserve Corps and what's happened there? Oh, we have a lot of Medical Reserve Corps in California. Um, here in the Bay Area, we actually have one here in this county, and they um, have been doing uh, great work in disaster preparedness and training at the county level. Um, we have also had smaller units here in working with um, doing flu vaccination clinics. We're very big on flu vaccination because it is part of community resiliency. We want people to be empowered upon themselves 
to take care of themselves and their families first and then to be able to give back to the communities. And so we are huge here in this county on flu vaccination clinics over the past couple of years. What about earthquakes? That's always a concern here in California. Is there any preparation for earthquakes that people are doing? Oh, we always prepare for earthquakes. Yeah. We, um, uh, we prepare for earthquakes every year. There is an annual uh, exercise held by the state, and all of the Medical Reserve Corps units within the state of California participate, and they participate in different levels. Some will just call out to all of their volunteers and, be, and find out if, if this was an emergency, would you be able to respond? But some also train. How do you turn off the gas working alongside CERT members? How do you um, make sure that your neighbors are okay? And things like that, communication drills within the families. And so every year, the Medical Reserve Corps practices their earthquake preparedness. So let's shift to community resiliency. That's a very interesting topic in that you're building capacity within the community to actually stay healthy and keep healthy. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? Well, um, our director of our program, Captain Rob Tosato, really was an um, early, uh, early person on resiliency. He really brought that into the ethos of the Medical Reserve Corps. We really want to make the volunteers and the community members resilient against disasters because accidents and natural disasters happen. The disaster happens after it when people are not prepared and they're not ready for what is to come with say a 72 hour preparedness kit. So that has expanded to involve also um, physical fitness activities, hi uh, monitoring hypertension, all of the things that go into being resilient and healthy within yourself. And so we've been right there. So what have you done in the last year that's been fun in the Medical Reserve Corps? What have we done that's been fun in the last year as Medical Reserve Corps? Uh, there's been some really interesting um, videos on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We are incorporating technology into the things that we do on a regular basis because we can't just bring out the same message all the time. Um, get a vaccination, get your flu shot, et cetera, et cetera. So local Medical Reserve Corps units have taken it upon themselves to create MRC-driven YouTube videos, encouraging people to get vaccinated, encouraging people to take their flu shots. And those have gone pretty viral, and they're pretty impressive. That's great. Yeah. Now, let's uh, shift. We've got a graphic on healthy people. So this is a kind of a national initiative. Can you tell us something about Healthy People 2020? Well, Healthy People 2020 is um, a collaboration of what direction we need to go in the next 10 years to build resiliency and make people well and more physically fit. So I believe this is our third rendition of Healthy People and it comes, um, it's developed with the assistance of cities and counties and then the initiative is brought down to the cities and counties and they implement it in their own way and fashion at okay, the let's, local level. Let's dive into that. How do the local communities design Healthy People 2020 for their own community? Well, the, the report comes out based on everyone's input. And these are the initiatives and the objectives under the certain titles as to what, what people can do. And so local county and city health departments will build their programs throughout the year to assist with healthy people. So community leaders can say this is a priority for our community and work on their own action plans. Mm -hmm. if, the, if there is an MRC unit in that community, are they involved with that? Yeah. A large majority of the Medical Reserve Corps across the nation, and especially here in California, are within the health departments to begin with. So they are right there for all of the meetings that take place for healthy people. And so the volunteers implement that on a regular basis, such as at health fairs.